Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be working on some custom work for a customer of mine. They wanted to do a custom shelf and some custom trim work. In a past video, I installed some nice, beautiful custom black walnut pieces in their home. You guys can find some links throughout this video to those videos, so you can go there and check them out. Hope you guys will stick around for this video. If you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe, hit the little bell that pops up, and you guys will be alerted to all the videos that I upload. Also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and uh, let's get going. This is uh, how I'm gonna present this video, little video here up in the corner of me kind of narrating what's going on below. Um, as you guys can see, I've got this large slab on the workbench, I'm doing some measurements. I'm measuring out this black walnut, it's live edge. The uh, customer wants a 13 foot shelf, live edge. The lower half we're gonna make, um, we're gonna carve to look live edge. And the upper, the part of the shelf that'll be sticking off the wall will be natural live edge. And the piece that hangs down, I'm gonna carve to, to look that way. We also gotta do a door frame. I'm gonna carve and uh, shape some dimensional black walnut to make it look live edge. We're also going to build some black walnut corner pieces that are gonna wrap right around the corner of the wall. Uh, those pieces will be shaped as well to look live edge to match the overall look of the room. Now this room has a beautiful fireplace with stonework. It's got a black walnut mantle already up and some trim pieces and things that I did in the past. If you wanna see that video, look over here next to me on one of these sides. There'll be a link popping up. You guys can follow it. Go to that past video where I did that install. Another thing we're gonna do here in this video is install some trim. I don't really have a bunch of footage. I just had some issues with the cameras, but we'll get a quick couple shots of that trim. now. That trim will be baseboard trim. It's about, I wanna say it was five inches tall. Uh, the trim is just pine. We did a dark walnut stain with a satin finish. All the work done in this house is upon the customer's request. I mean, obviously I put in a little bit of insight and we kinda, you know, we're building this project together and things over, well, designing it and stuff like that. Um, the goal really is to just have this, this beautiful, rustic feeling room, a place where they can kind of sit and relax. As so we're jumping right ahead pretty quick in this build, if you guys are watching the video below, we trimmed the ends of the walnut, got it squared, I cut it, ripped it right down the middle so I would have two boards. Now this is just one of the boards you're watching here. You're seeing me kind of work the end. This is gonna be an overlapping joint. The room is 13 feet long, I need a 13 foot long shelf. If I try to bring that in and put it in place, it's gonna hit the walls and it's just, it's not gonna work. So what I have uh, engineered here is a four piece shelf. So everything's going to overlap, the joints will meet up like my thumbs here. You know, they'll just kinda come together like that. We're gonna bolt it together, we'll use black walnut plugs to hide those holes. If you can see the crack here in this video on that piece of walnut I'm sanding, it was a book match piece so the cracks come together and I filled them with epoxy. And I know I'm going 100 miles an hour down there, but that was pretty much it for the shelf. Um, I made my joint, I got it together, sanded it all down, moving right on to the next project. Um, the next project is working on the corner pieces. So right now what you're seeing is the corner pieces are already mounted together. Um, what I did is I ripped a 90 degree, or not a 90, sorry, a 45 all the way down each board. So the boards were cut to length, a black walnut, just figured out how wide they needed to be, and ripped a 45 down each side. That way there I could put them together and have a 90 degree corner piece to wrap around the wall. Now I used biscuit joints and glue for that. I didn't like screw those joints together. I mean, tight bond two holds together really, really well. I've done some practice stuff, try to break it apart. Normally the wood gets destroyed before the glue joint does. So I trust that stuff, it should hold up very well. Um, you guys see me working and using different things. I'm gonna try to share some links with you in the video below. So if you're interested in the glue, maybe the, the saw or the, you know, whatever check out those amazon links 
purchasing through those Amazon links help support this channel. I get a little bit of cut of that sale. It's not like I'm not making bank, you know. Every little bit helps, you know. It helps this channel grow and continue to move forward. Um, the hours that really went into this project were just, there was a lot. I spent a lot of time, a lot of time, a lot of early mornings, a lot of late nights. I'm still working a full-time job on top of creating these pieces. So, I mean, it's, it's you know, time consuming, but I absolutely love it. So, I wouldn't, wouldn't pass it up. Um, here, I'm getting ready to oil up those corner pieces. I know I didn't have the video of it, but I did oil up the shelf. I'm using Danish oil. Um, all the walnuts get in Danish oil, so it's getting several coats, uh, using quad -out steel wool in between each coat, wiping it all down, wiping it all down. Once all the pieces are oiled, they end up sitting for, I let them just sit for like three days as long as the weather's nice, if not a week. Um, once I've put that last coat of oil on, that way there it soaks in and it kind of hardens up and, and it just sets. After that, I'll go over it again with the steel wool, wiping it all down, kind of scrubbing it with uh, the, probably the double lot steel wool, and uh, clean the surface up, and then we'll wipe on some wipe-on polyurethane. Now I'm using like a semi-gloss or a satin finish when I get to that point, because the customer wants a real natural look. So the goal is to have a finish that they can wipe clean, wipe dust off, have a natural finish, but the dust just doesn't doesn't stick you know and well by doing all that sanding it gives it just a, a beautiful natural looking finish so here we are you guys see I've got my grinder popping up here I'm working on the door frame those are just some shots of the shaping of it um, here it is just sort of screwed together as I shaped each piece together so when it's put together you know it kind of just looks like a single board that wraps down around the door it's fun. I like being able to do these custom projects. There's always a good level of stress in them, but it's worth it. <laughs> so here we are applying some Danish oil to that walnut, and you can see how it really, really just makes it pop. I just love the way this stuff looks. Walnut is one of my favorites to work with. There's quite a bit of curl in there and just some real nice figure to this wood. It's, oh boy, it's beautiful stuff. So there's a quick shot of the door frame after some, some Danish oil. Um, any imperfections in the wood, I mixed up an epoxy and I either wiped it on or brushed it on or filled it in and then we sanded it back prior to oiling. So if there was a knot that needed to be filled, if there was just, I don't know, the wood just got a good nick out of the, the wood, then that's what we did. These two shots here we're going by are just the pine trim. Uh, it's just, I believe it's five inches tall. Got some trim boards. They were... Uh, I think they were originally six inch boards, so I had to rip them down to five. And then uh, give them a quick sanding, wipe down some black walnut stain on them. The customer decided to go with one coat of stain, which is fine. And then I did the poly acrylic, which is a water-based finish. I did the satin. And what that does is it gives the same look as the, the finish I'm doing on the walnut. Um, I had to go that route because I can't do all the oiling and all the sanding and all that. Otherwise, all the stain would come off. Uh, so we're back to the corner pieces now. And it kind of looks like I put the same video in here twice. <laughs> now that I'm working on my narrating and I've got it all done. But the, uh, the corner pieces really were a time-consuming job. I've already said that a bunch of times. I know the whole thing really was. An enjoyable time consuming I absolutely love it so don't don't get that confused all right guys so we're getting right into the install all the wood is ready to go and my buddy Barry giving me a hand the customer decided the shelf was too tall so we had to rip it down the middle that was free-handed snap the chalk line brand new blade cut her right down here are some shots of the room I know the video is wrapping up kind of quick here so feel free to rewind and, and watch it again but there's the door trim you guys just saw the floor trim Here's our corner pieces leading up to our 13 foot shelf installed. Well, that wraps up this project. Uh, you know, it was a pretty fun build. It was, uh, we had a great successful install. Everything came out great. 
I want to thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell that comes up so you can be alerted to all my videos that I upload. Also, if you are interested in supporting this channel and the work that I do, check out my Patreon account. I'll have a link here popping up, and if you can't find that link, go down in the description below. There'll be a link there to go to my Patreon account. You can go there and, well, help support this channel and the work that I do financially. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.